Let's take a look at how we can segment our existing subscribers into individual groups within MailerLite so they get only the emails that they are more keen to be interested in. Now, imagine this scenario. You have a freebie on your website and people join it. And as you go on sending them emails, you get this question. Do all the free email recipients actually want every single email that you are sending maybe maybe not here's why your website would be featuring a lot of different kind of content however the person who joined might only be interested in one of them or a few of them and not the others so as your list grows you have to keep an eye on that to make sure that your level of engagement stays high now mail and light provides you with a quite relatively simple way to uh, cleverly segment your list by letting your readers tell you their opinion this will come in helpful in if your niche has like a beginner level or an advanced level as you are going to see in my demonstration here or if you have different subtopics for example say you have a website about making money online and you and you focus on a few different avenues like say blogging and drop shipping and and say uh, opening your own amazon store so there are three sections but your readers who joined in might not be interested in all three of them and you would like to kind of nail down on what exactly they want to provide them with emails that they would definitely be attracted to and not just keep hitting delete on so you want to get a whole group and then kind of split them into these three groups so hopefully how we do it on mailer light would help you be able to channel down on your seg different segments so you can achieve much better results with them so without further ado let's get going like i said i'm going to be using mailer light to do this and to do so you need a automation workflow setup so you can what you can do is you can have an introduction after your freebie of, of maybe a few uh, introductory general kind of posts and then you're going to create one email to your readers that will read something like this so you're going to explain what you can do in this email is you can talk about the main aspects of your websites or you can kind of make it aware rather than that yes i am aware that this field has a beginners and a intermediate and advanced levels and i would like to know that you are actually getting the emails that you are looking forward to instead of sending every single email to all you lovely readers so in my case i want to see that i i'm letting them know that i am aware that a lot of the people on my list might actually already be some uh, good at beginners and maybe intermediate level blogging and they are looking for an edge to go down to the next level but there are lots of them who are beginners so i can't make that judgment call so what i've asked them to do is click on this link if you want to skip the basics so what so what happens is so if they still want the basics they don't do anything and I make that clear too. If you're all right with the material you're getting so far, then you need not do anything. Meanwhile, draw, draw, join your group or whatever. So, but if someone clicks on this, I want the people who click on this list to go on to a new group where all I'm intending to do is to get them advanced material. So let's see how that is done. In order to do that, what you do after setting up that email is you give it a few days because you have to first set a delay of at least a day or two the reason is this particular condition here will happen the minute the email is sent out and you have to give your readers at least a few days or so to you know read it and act on it so i'm giving them a two-day delay and what i have set here is called a condition so your condition so the like you have four options in mail you can create an action an email a condition and then and like something like this like a delay so here you create a condition and on the condition you tell them that the condition is based on the pre previous workflow activity so in your case this activity so what part of the activity so you so you're telling them to choose one of the workflow activities and now here you select which of the workflows so which of the emails are you sending out so in my case how can we help you today and what is the activity that you want them to look for do you want them to know that it's just been opened not opened 
any links clicked, a specific link linked, clicked, or it was opened with no links clicked, or was opened and did not have the specific link being clicked on. So in my case, since I told them, hey, click here if you want the advanced stuff. So I said, had a specific link clicked. Now, in that particular letter, what I did, I, I created a hyperlink with that link. And the hyperlink takes you to just a simple page on the website to say, great, let's get you some advanced tips. So just to make sure that when they click on something, they see a result and not wonder why no window is changing. Because we are used to seeing something change when we click on a hyperlink. So now, this is that link that it goes to when we click on it when they click on that advanced link so now that that has happened now see even here if you see this um, caution given to you they tell you to add a delay before the condition so it gives them time to receive and open the email all right so once that is done so the conditions has two answers yes or no so it's going to check did was that specific link clicked on if it is yes i move them to a new group called pro bloggers group and if it's no everything stays the same i can go on and add on my, my next action and continue building on this workflow automation itself for those who clicked on that link they will end up in a new uh, group through which i would be sharing advanced steps you can use this in many ways you can use the conditions based on whether they clicked on your promotion or not you can use this to segment your list you can use this to kind of encourage them to con take a look at your product or your freebie if they haven't checked it out already there are many creative ways to use this but segmenting your list with this simple feature can go a long way because right now you can have all your subscribers in if you're having all your subscribers in one group can only work for a short while because each person wants what they want and you cannot exactly you know tailor to their specific needs and achieve results with them unless you go ahead and segment them and so that you can laser focus and give them what you intend to i hope this small tutorial helped please feel free to come to www.unlimitedincomenow.com for more tips on email marketing blogging and making money on the internet thank you